guys, Crew Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Aaron. And we are back with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. We are uh, hot off of the trail of the Oolong Slayer. What? No. That was a while. That's before. But, go. We are now... Oh, wait a minute. This is a... This is a pit. There's a hole, not a pit. There's a hole, not a pit. This was sticky. Oh, no. Why is it sticky? I don't know. <laughs> I must have liked the last episode too much. Because of all the spooning. We had some spooning. We, we had... Uh, uh, fun Terry starved to death, so he's yep. gone forever now. Yep. Rosa and Holt being emotional. Ah, oh, mm-hmm. they're so good at that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Magnet and, uh, light. Yeah, that was okay. Yeah. You didn't like it? It was, not, it was okay. I said it was okay. The other girl in her building liked it. You know who else didn't like it? What? The police. My question is, how did it work? Like, does she have magnets in her like shoulder pads? She has a uh, metal plate in her shoulder. Oh. You just stick it to it. It seems very narrow. Like you can't use it for a lot of stuff. Calvin could use that on his arm. He could. He could just be like. He'd be like a like a robot, yeah. like a B two series battle droid. Kind of, yeah. That could kind of work, I guess. If you want to go that way. Scully has a mason jar full of lemonade. You called us in here to tell us that? No, I <laughs> called you in here to change your lives. For you see, a mere five minutes ago, Hitchcock introduced me to his new goldfish who lives in. <gasps> oh no! Is he gonna make them eat it? Well, there are two possible outcomes, and we're gonna bet on which one happens first. So. Will Hitchcock put fish food in Scully's lemonade, or will Scully drink Hitchcock's goldfish? Now, you Hitchcock be- just drank his own fish. What? No! <laughs> 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 That's one of my favorites. How did, how did that happen? They didn't think fast enough <laughs> of what could happen. They defied all reason. <laughs> He drank his own fish. Wow, that thing was full of water. Like, he had several uh, drinks. Like, he, dr- he he was like, I'm drinking the rest of this. That's what he decided. I busted Devin here with four vials of this, which is a new drug called... Taxi, you actually found some? Yep. Your CI was right. It's popping up on the corners. I just discovered a new drug, too. It's called your relationship, and I'm high on it. Charles, I'm going to just back off, man. Roger that. <laughs> she used to do ballet. No way. Which gave me the physical skills I need to strangle you with my feet. Now scram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you two no longer... Smushing booties. Yes, that's exactly how I was going to finish my sentence. <laughs> Our only close call was when Jake didn't know who Will Shorts was. Really? Never heard of the Puzzle Master. This is who you want to be with? <laughs> I shouldn't get involved. Good luck with the case. <laughs> Who's the Puzzle Master? I think he's a crossword puzzle dude. I don't know. Charles in charge of oh, our days and our nights. What? Nah. What? How am I supposed to? What the? Whose car is that? Some clown. Clown parked his clown car in Captain Holt's spot and halfway into oh, mine. Oh no! What a clown! Did Captain Holt do it? Mm-hmm. Convertible? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, I hate people who drive sports cars. You're not Gloria. This is it. And this isn't Miami. Charles. Hey, Captain. Get ready to join him in the Huff Zone. No. Some creep. Oh, had no, the it's goal. a car. I saw you drove Gertie to work this morning, huh, Captain? Gertie is our convertible. I think you'd like her. She's a real peppy broad. Oh, I didn't realize that was your car. My car? Well, Raymond Holt may be on the title, but no man can own her spirit. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, Boyle. I interrupted you. You were saying something about some creep. Just some strangler. Put the paperwork on my desk. Thank you. <sighs> Great. Now I have to go find a strangler. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. My cover makes me invisible. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have two minutes to talk about the environment? Nailed it. Now no one will make eye contact with me. Excuse me, sir. Do you have two minutes to talk about the environment? And my PD priest. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a gun for me like that? I don't know if I just start running. I'll just stay here. Uh, <laughs> Dude, that guy's gonna get away or something. Oh, Bam! Yeah. Mattress! A new mattress! Take down. Thanks. Oh my god. What? This mattress looks just like your mattress at home. Oh what? my god. No, it doesn't. Oh man, it's the exact same one. Ah, I have a dumpster mattress. <laughs> Alright, that settles it. We're going mattress shopping. Seriously? Oh, this is the best. I'm so proud of you. You know, once we get it, we'll have to break it in. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Mattress trampoline. Wait, no, you were talking about sex. Yeah. Then mattress trampoline. Sure. Okay. <laughs> mattress trampoline. Sam was brought in for shoplifting a phone. She I also have chamomile. That might calm us down. Oh, if you want calm, there's some loons and evidence. If anybody'd ever let me get them out. <laughs> 
Jenny, I screwed up big time. I can't buy Charles, a single. <laughs> given your daily life experiences, you're gonna have to be more specific. Gertie! Oh no. Gertie! <laughs> it's just a car. He's not gonna be that mad. Son of a bitch! <sighs> okay, I misjudged that one. This is your fault, mister. Interesting. Charles, do you feel that's the case? Uh, <laughs> your car is pretty far over the line. Yeah! So, it's kind of your fault, too. Pass the blame. The buffoonery is endless. You're gonna pay for what you've done. They'll have to custom mix the color because they no longer make raspberry sugar. <laughs> it's so close. <laughs> and they're all about to be tested. Bouncy styles. What? Get low. Oh my god. You have to do this. Yeah, you don't do this when you go to Matthew's office? Our last one we ordered online. Oh. We couldn't touch it beforehand. But I already have a mattress. It just doesn't seem worth it. Okay. Well, to me, it sounds like you're saying I'm not worth it. So I'm going to go sleep in my grown-up mattress that I bought this century, and you're not invited. I was tossing and turning. Jake told me about your fight, and I'm so worried about you two. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. What do I have to do? Buy the mattress myself? Done. Problem no. solved. It would make him so happy. It would make him so happy. <laughs> Exciting. I'll go get my pencil case. I bet it's a room number. He Third floor, to. fifth oh. room, room 305. That's definitely it. Oh, great. Great, great. Santiago has solved it. <laughs> I want... Have you continued to dance? No, Miss Miriam. Well, there's no surprise in that. You always were a lazy ox. What's this now? Look at your posture. You look as if you should be ringing the bells at Notre Dame. Terrible. <laughs> See, Serge? Tough love works. Damn it. Terry proved the wrong point. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you do to my cupcake? This is yours? Why on earth is your cupcake on my chair? Now you have to buy me a new cupcake. Well, this is outrageous. You expect me to avoid... Oh. <laughs> the cupcake was Gertie. Yes. Your butt was Charles's car. Yes. The chair was the parking space. Yes, I get it. Your office was the garage. Yes, I'm telling you, I understand the last thing. And I was the brilliant Gina Linetti <laughs> in both scenarios. <laughs> All right, we're done here. Okay. You're a great captain. <laughs> what? She's gonna call me all the time and ask me a million annoying questions. Wow, it sounds like such a huge drag. I guess I'm just not worth it. Boom, use the thing you said to me in a different argument and this argument, I win the argument. <laughs> oh, no, 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 this is bad. Well, you started it, or I did. I can't remember at this point. No, Jake, look at the screen. Oh, what no. happened? He was cut. Time. You do have to admit it was a pretty good point about Orangina, though. Wait, he was able to hear that? Or was it through the walls? Through the walls. Through the walls. They were in a room next to him. But before you say anything, yes, we screwed up. And yes, you warned us. And yes, I don't know where I'm going with this. But I do know this. I have reached the end of my sentence. <laughs> oh my god, did that work? Not at all. <laughs> I believe this might help. When Kevin and I first started dating, he taught at a small college upstate. It was two hours away by train or bus, but only 30 minutes by car. Is this another one of your riddles? You rode to work on his shoulders, one set of footprints. No. <laughs> then one spring day, Kevin showed up at my door, Gertie. having purchased Gertie. Ah! He took the leap, and I'm so grateful that he did. I only regret that I didn't do it first. Do you understand? 100%. The train is your old mattress. Yeah. The car's a new mattress. I got it. Kevin is you. Mm -hmm. I'm Santiago. Loud and clear, 100%. <laughs> he even said to cover those bases. She's the reason I quit ballet. And I sure as hell don't want Sam to quit the Big Brother program because of me. This is totally how I thought this Miss Miriam thing was going to go. <laughs> Another flawless Terry plan. Let him have it. I just got Gertie back from the garage. She looks as good as new. Better even, because after 12 years, they finally got the Annie Lennox cassette out of the tape player. Oh, I love her. Here's a check for the full amount. <laughs> you don't owe me anything. It was my fault, and I behaved poorly. You still owe me $14 for that cupcake. $14? That's a hell of a cupcake, man. Amy Santiago, I want to change mattresses for you. That's the best thing I've ever heard. 
I'm sorry I didn't do it sooner. You're Orangina and I'm Orange Soda. Are you kidding? You're Orangina? Ugh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Shipping address, not the same as billing address. Gotta enter both of those. <laughs> Jake, Jake, look, there's our guy. Oh, perfect timing. Submit order. Province? I don't know, we're on the Canadian website. Click <laughs> on the American flag. Jake! Yeah, we'll do this later, let's go. Dude, if they just missed him because of that, I'd be lost. Uh, don't you wish all arguments could end that easily? <laughs> the cupcake. <laughs> the cupcake. No, I meant the. Uh, I like the cupcake. Just being like, just, just admitting those things. Well, what'd you guys think? No, I like the cupcake. Great. The cu the whole car thing. Like, I like the idea of like. I was waiting for like when he said like it was in mine at Holt's spot, and I was like, oh no, it's Holt's car. It's got to be Holt's car. Like, mm -hmm. it's in their spot. Like, who, why else would it be? Yeah. So, like, just the lead up to it, and then him being mad. But I loved like. Why'd you send my cupcake? Why is it in my chair? Because that's where I want to put it. <laughs> you know, like, that was the idea. It was like... Uh, it, was a, it was especially great that it also tied into Jake and Amy's story. Well. It did. Like, that's the thing that Seinfeld does so brilliantly yeah. so often, is that all the stories end up tying together in some way. They'll either, yeah, like, nicely go together or crash yeah. together. <laughs> so, uh, seeing that here was really nice. It was good. Yeah. They, they had the same thing, too, where it's like, I get it, Gina. I get it, Gina. I get it. Mm -hmm. And then, like, at the same time, it's like, do you understand what I mean, Jake? He's like, yeah. He's yeah. like, I'm Santiago. You're Kevin. Yeah. The, the car is the mattress. <laughs> like, he's, like, going through all the things, so. It's another one of those examples, too, of Gina, like, she makes fun of everybody, but when somebody is wrong that she cares about by someone else, she goes after him, you know? Sure. Yeah. When he's like, I read that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wonder if Boyle will feel that strangler. I do that line. I love that line. Great. Now I gotta find a I gotta find a strangler. Gotta find a strangler. <laughs> I'm like, no, that one was really good. I also love how Boyle has the perfect opportunity to rub the captain's nose and the fact that he was wrong and all that, and he goes, you're a great captain. You're a good captain. <laughs> he can't do it to himself. Yeah, to there's, him. there's no I told you so. Or, there's not, there isn't. And he gave him the money, too, after that argument. Yeah. Like, cupcake yeah. thing. He did. He's like, here's the money. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to buy Jake's mattress. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he'll enjoy doing it. What yeah. was it? It's something like that, right? Yeah. It'll, it'll make him happy. It'll, it'll, yeah, it'll make him happy. It'll mean so much to him. Rose is stuck with Terry and stuff. Like, I love Terry. There's some good stuff with the way that they did it. Yeah, Rose loves stuff. Terry. Sorry. Yeah, it loves Terry. <laughs> but, like, like that. Don't, don't be too mad at it. Don't be, like, too scared of it. She did ballet. It's like, it taught me how to strengthen you on my feet. <laughs> 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 I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, I just like the way that they play off. No, it was good. I especially loved, man, Terry proved the wrong point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like when Terry does the Terry thing. It reminded me uh, when he brought in the teacher of just the mankind bringing in all the people from the Rock's past for Raw. And like, he brought in an old teacher and an old lover and everything. And the <laughs> what? Was, was what? That's ridiculous, but it sounds amazing. It was the highest rated uh, segment. What, what was the point of, what was the point of it? Time. Well, he was trying to deconstruct the Rock. No, so he was trying to be the Rock's buddy. And form like the Rock and Sock connection with uh -huh. the tag team. You know? Rock and Sock. And so like he was trying to bring all these people from Rock's life to like make him feel good, you know, uh -huh. about his accomplishments and everything. But Rock like hated all of them and just cut promos on all of them on his old lady. <laughs> it was great. The so, Rock doesn't care about you. like like that kind yeah. of thing, just yelling at them all. Yeah. Rock and Sock. That's so good. I like the Rock and Sock idea. Oh, no, we gotta watch that later. Did that ever come to be? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they had the Rock and Sock. Yeah, the Rock and Sock connection. Uh, there's no way we can react to it, I don't think. No. Wrestling's so hard to have. I know. So it's such a shame. So. It's such a good segment. Um, I'm going to look up Orange Gina, because I don't know what it is either. It sounds like a mixer, maybe? Yeah, like, what the hell is Orange Gina? I'll look up Will Schwartz. Was it Schwartz? The, the Puzzle Master? The Puzzle Master. Yeah, I don't know who that is either. <laughs> I was like, what's this? So Orange Gina is citrus sparkling juice, so it's carbonated juice. It's not orange soda. It's not soda. orange soda. Sounds awful. I've never had Orange Gina. It kind of looks like almost like a mixer drink to me too, but it's got a really interesting looking bottle. You can get it on Amazon. Your Catalina wine mixer. Yeah. What's it called? Works is goddamn American... Catalina wine mixer. Is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Will Sports is an American puzzle creator and editor and crossword puzzle editor for the New York Times. Gotcha. Okay. Oh. The puzzle master. So he does it for newspapers. Yeah. But he makes them. Yeah. Oh. This is carbonated citrus sparkling with. Heavy pulp. Heavy pulp. Heavy pulp and carbonated. That's interesting. It sounds terrible. It does. We should but get I kind of want to try it. I mean, I, I was always interested. I remember, like, 
It was back at, uh, damn, what was it? New York? Yeah. Or somewhere. We had, like, a gaming event we went to. And I've always, like, when watching shows, they always have the bar, right? And they go yeah. up and they, you know, this is rum and coke or jack and whatever, you know, all the different things. But people all the time were like, I want a club soda. Oh, was this like, was at the Shadow of Mordor it, party. It was. It was at that. Mm. And uh, I was like, ooh, well, you know what? I'm going to get a club soda. I don't know what the hell it is. I'm yeah. Like, I was, if, You've if, never if, had a club they soda. They order it all the time. I want a club soda. So I ordered a club soda at that bar, and it was awful. It was like pop without any of the good stuff. <laughs> it's just carbonated water. water. It's carbonated water. Yeah, you, you haven't had like sparkling water or anything? Before? I mean, I have. It's terrible. Yeah. I don't like that. It's not great. But that's not that's not what this is called. It's called club soda. Sure. Like, club soda. What's a club soda? Yeah. I love like uh like uh like vanilla. You're like, like this is gonna be an RC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I didn't know what it was gonna be, so I was like, I'm gonna try you this. You thought it was gonna be like vanilla cream soda? Yeah, like I love cream soda and like I like club sandwiches. Like, what's a club soda, <laughs> you know? Like let me get that. It yeah. Was terrible. I remember I didn't that. like it at all. Because we were at a bar, it was a nice bar, and there were just happened to be two like Fully makeup orcs there they as were. well. Yeah, for the shadow. Of Just Mordor. like having a good time. Yeah, they're like ah. <laughs> <laughs> they were, Look at these little people. Yeah, they, they were, were like, like making fun of people and trying to scare them. Yeah. And they were drinking. <laughs> they would come and sit down. Ah, sit down next to you. They're loud. Yeah, and boisterous. And it was fun. They it had like great. a. Uh, I think it was. Was it New York? Or was it in? That was New York. Okay. Yeah. We were at some bar and it was in the basement of the bar. So I think that was the New York Comic Con time trip we had. We had that and we had the Mortal Kombat yeah. party that we went to. Yeah. But yeah, that one there. That's when I tried the club soda, and I was like, I am never mm-hmm. getting club soda again. I, I think Jansen's like, what the hell is wrong with him? Yeah. <laughs> like, he was like, don't get that. I was like, I'm just trying to find a drink I like. It wasn't that. So I can't, I don't know. I, I might try that, but I imagine I would not like yeah. Orange Gina. I want to say Orange Gina, but that sounds wrong. What was your worst mattress that you kept for too long? I mean, have we all changed mattresses because of lady friends? Like, I had mine from when I lived with my parents. Yeah. Until... I met Maggie, and then I no longer had that mattress. I've only <laughs> bought one mattress, and that's the one I have now. Yeah. Which is like a very soft one that, like, when one moves, they don't necessarily feel it on the other side and stuff. You're supposed to be able, I think the ads, like, you can jump on it, and, like, it doesn't knock over the egg or whatever. Yeah. Um, but before that, we slept on the mattress that I had from when I was growing up. Yeah. Which was my grandma's mattress. Wow. <laughs> You know, and it was just like we had that forever because that's a legacy mattress. The mattress that we took, we moved with us because mm-hmm. her mattress that she had from her parents' house was a fuck. I always forget twin, right? And oh. mine was the full. Sure. So like we had slept on her twin before, but there's not a lot of room. <laughs> and when whenever we did, it was at her parents' house, and she slept in like an A-frame, like part of the house. So the wall wasn't straight; it was like this. So like I'd be up against in the corner in this little thing. It was terrible. So we had the full bed, and like you could put that against the wall, it wasn't so bad too. But eventually, now we have like a king or whatever it is. I don't know what size. I remember mine was Much like better. to the point where I would put pillows in spots where like the lumps were. It's like ah, I don't need a new mattress. I think I had the same mattress from my first apartment to eventually my house, but it wasn't when I started having lady friends. Or <laughs> Jancy coming over, it was uh, just when I started actually making a little money. Yeah, where I was like, I should get a new mattress. I've had this for a long time, so I upgraded. I'm just like, I'm gonna have a king mattress. And I got really used to sleeping in it by myself. <laughs> so much room, <laughs> you know, because it's two two twins put together, isn't it? Is what a king I size is. I think I don't know. And then there's there's California there's king. One of I don't have a California. Too. Yeah, California king. king's longer. Yeah, I could probably use a longer one. Well, I don't have Obi. That's one of my things. Well, yeah, too, but was that's great. The length of it too, because I was like, well, yeah. I can be here, and my feet kind of hang off, mm-hmm. but I can get my arm like up here, yeah. or I can be up here, but then I have no room for my arm to like mm-hmm. stretch out above my head because I do that a lot. Since so people are getting taller, I figure at some point you have to just make mattresses longer. I mean, maybe. Just like, what does Shaq sleep on? He has to have like a specially built or right? with, a giant. with like a yeah. Superman look. Or uh. What's, what's that, uh, Yao Ming? Is that his name? Yao yeah, Ming. Like, like, he's tall, too. Like, those yeah. are, like, those, I don't know why I keep thinking of, like, basketball players, but those are tall, tall people. Really yeah. tall people. Yeah, you know? they probably have something. I mean... Well, even, like, The Rock, like, he's 6'5". Yeah. Like, that's... I mean, if I stretch out, my toes will hang over the edge, you know? Like, I the I have, like, a floating uh, mattress uh, support thing. Yeah. So there's no, like, you know, uh, what's it called? Floorboard. Uh, oh, yeah. 
Sure. Footboard. There's oh. the headboard and the wetboard. Footboard. I don't know. Footboard. Yeah, whatever. Know. There's no like like you know when Jancy's old better her place in L A. There was like a little like kind of wire thing and my feet would like rest against it or on top of it you know but in this I can kind of just like have them hang over do you have a headboard? no I have a slanted wall like this yeah, yeah. so when you sleep it kind of like goes over you and when it rains you hear it it's awesome and during the winter it's super cold so the way you like the, that wall is the everything it's toasty in here but the wall is cold because it's technically the roof so you put your pillow against it and then whenever your pillow you do that thing where you need to get to the cold side it's like freezing cold, and it's great. It's like, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Love it. We don't have a bed frame at all. Ours just sits on the box springs. Gotcha. And ours has to have two of the little box springs. Like, it doesn't have one big box spring. It has, like, two little Two ones. twin box springs. Yeah, like, two half size gotcha. ones or something. Hmm. Well, that's probably... So, is it low? Part of the reason why, like, you cannot tip it for a wine glass. Maybe, yeah. Because they're two separate... Possibly. They're not all connected box together. Box but no, yeah. I mean, it's, I think mine might be two separate box springs. It's, so. it's it's lower than this is. I yeah. Think. Like, yeah, it's at least <coughs> there. Yeah. I think. No one can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have a new mattress when I was a kid. I just had my grandma's old mattress from when she bought one. I just had that. I just slept on that. Yeah. As a kid, you don't, you don't know anything. Fucking. I don't know. My kids been sleeping like. Mine came from. They've been wanting to do like sleepovers like. In the living room where they all just sleep in the same room. Colton just sleeps on the ground. I'm like, mm-hmm. you comfortable? He goes, yeah, I'm good. I'm like, okay. Like, yeah, man, I, I would be comfortable. <laughs> but I'm, I'm older now. We're going to have to, at one point, we're in season three now. we got to do some blooper reactions to this show. Because I just can't imagine some of those line readings, they don't just burst out laughing. Like, the raspberry, raspberry sherbet. He's like this far away from us, you know? <laughs> I be, couldn't do it. It had to be custom mixed. <laughs> they don't no make long raspberry Nick. They, they, I feel like they choose words to get him Raspberry to be able to just open Sherman. his mouth in various ways. Yeah, but he open his mouth, right. but don't open his teeth. Raspberry Sherbert. I don't know how to do it. I don't know. Yep. It's like Blue the word watermelon, right? Blue like watermelon. watermelon was one that we were taught for doing when doing acting. Like if you're in the background talking, like you don't actually have sentences that you say. Yeah. One of the words that people would use would be watermelon. Ours was and peanut you, butter watermelon. And you would like, yeah, there might have been more words with it too, peanut but like watermelon. with peanut butter, watermelon, watermelon, like your mouth moves in various peanut ways that if you like watermelon, melon, water, and so yeah. like like kind of mix those words around, it looks like you're talking, but yeah. it's just because your mouth moves in different ways rather mm-hmm. than just saying like talking, talking, talking. Like it doesn't look like sure. you're yeah. just saying the same thing, but like water. They don't want someone in the background going and like, being like. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, you don't want to be like, are you speaking in tongues? <laughs> so, sure. watermelon is the lorem ipsum of the oral medium. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the hell you just said. Yeah, I, I you just said a bunch of words that in that it. sentence made no sense to me. <laughs> I got it. I wasn't sure where we were going at first. Whenever he's like, hey, lemonade, and you get to keep the jar. And he's like, I'm like, what the, what's, what's this, what are we doing? Is it, is it, is it, is it yellow and it looks like urine? Like, what, uh-huh. what are we going to do with this? And he's like, guys, guys, guys. And then there's the whole fish thing. I'm like, ah. Okay. Nope, he's drinking they're, his own fish. Both, I can't. <laughs> I got, they, they, they went over, here's the possible scenarios, but yeah. they defied expectations. Yep. I got what they were going for. It's like, okay, they either they're going to put fish food in his lemonade yeah. when he was going to drink it, or he's going to accidentally, accidentally drink his fish yeah. because they're in a jar. But how do you get to, I'm going to drink my own fish? <laughs> it's either, I can kind of see it in that like you're looking at this guy, and he has a drink. In front of him, you're not looking at your thing, but you feel it. Yeah. So like in your mind, you're putting two, two and two together, of like I've got lemonade sure. here, and then you drink it, and then it's not. It's how, how, like, how many times have you done, made that mistake where you've picked something up to drink, but it's not that? Yeah, exactly. Has that happened to you? Like you think it's water, but it's actually lemonade. Yeah. And then like you're shocked. Hmm. It happens. I don't know if I've done. I know I've done like. Fuck, you know, yeah. like the lid's on. But I mean, I've also looked around for my phone as my pocket, you know, or I've looked around for my glasses and they're on my face. Mm. I've done that before. Because it's either that or he like wanted to try it. Yeah. But instead of trying it, he just gulped the whole thing. Well, I'm also confused on what they were doing with, like, they were passing them back. And I'm like, yeah. why was Hitchcock and Scully treating was, the lemonade? Well, he was sharing, he sharing his, lemonade, his lemonade. And then he was showing him the goldfish. Okay, so this happened to me last week. Oh, no. Did you drink a little goldfish? No. So, that's where Flippy went. Like, we have 
We have dude wipes in my house. I love dude wipes, right? Uh -huh. They make it so that, you know, you use toilet paper, you get most of your job done, and then you take a dude wipe, cleans up any, you know, stragglers. It's like a polish. Yeah. So I, I use a dude wipe. Well, I woke up in the morning. Jancy had already left. I woke up. It's very groggy. My eyes were kind of that, like half shut thing. I'm like, oh, I use the bathroom. Went to use the bathroom, did my business, used toilet paper, went for the dude wipe, used it, and felt an intense burn on my anus. It was a Clorox wipe. <laughs> Jancy had put the Clorox wipes on top of the dude wipes. Granted, they're completely different colors, but my eyes were kind of like shut. I wasn't even thinking. Was it... I just grabbed a Clorox wipe and put it all over my asshole. Were they not in, are they in the same kind of things? Because aren't Clorox wipes like the round? No, like... no, this one was actually in kind of like, it, it's a little thinner than the dude wipes one, but it was on top of it, so I just didn't notice. But you just, you, you, you do the latch thing, take one out, put it down, used it for the first five seconds. Felt exactly like a dude wipe. I was like, all right, yeah, done. And then it just started to burn. I was like, oh. Well, I looked and I realized what happened. I'm like, no. Like, grab a dude wipe. He's like trying to stop it, you know? Trying to stop it. Yeah. It was terrible. Mm -hmm. So, I, yeah, I would probably would have eaten that fish too. That is terrible, but it's better than the story in my head was yeah. like, you reached for a tissue, but uh -huh. you already had the dude wipe in your hand. Oh, you used no, it Rick. Uh, no. I haven't done that, but I did. Uh, Back when Evie was in diapers, uh -huh. okay. I went to put on some of my hair gel, and I put it on my hair, uh -huh. but it was actually like A and D ointment. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering where it was going to go. Yeah, I was just where we were putting it in your hair. Because they were in the exact same sort of tin. Like, I opened that, I put it in, I rubbed it in my hands, I put it in my hair. Like, this doesn't, this isn't right. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> yeah, when I told Jancy what happened, I did the, the quote. I'm like, how about we don't do this? <laughs> <laughs> Man, the idea of dude wipes is so funny, too. Because, mm, like, wipes. growing up, I, I just used wipes all the time. I'm like, yeah. this, it's so much better. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. they're like, you know what? We're going to make wipes. We're going to call them dude wipes. Yep. Like, men will use them men because use them. men don't want to buy baby wipes. No, I want dirty butthole. <laughs> <laughs> like, man. That's why the men energy drink is like balls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it's just, Monster. It's just a way of, like, you got to sell it to the guys. They're not going to buy baby wipes. I remember, like, my cousins being like, you use baby wipes? Ha, ha, ha. I'm like, damn, yeah. my buckle's clean. I don't know. It feels better than, like, if, if you got, like, poop on your hand, you're just going to be, like, take a piece of paper towel and just wipe it off. And you're like, I'm yeah. good. Like, that doesn't sound right. You're going to be like, I'm going to wash this shit off. Fucking, there's poop on my hand, you know? Why is your yep. butthole any less? Yep. <laughs> When's the last time you went to the bathroom without your phone? It's always been on accident. This morning, yeah. because I picked up my phone to go to the bathroom, and it was dead or not oh. on. Actually, I think what it was is that it was off. And I was like, fucking, what's going on? So I just plugged it in and put it back. Gotcha. And then went to the bathroom. And then came back and it was at 100%. I'm like, what happened? I have a charger. <laughs> I was going to say, I have a charger near my toilet for that, just that occasion. Oh, no, I don't, I don't do that. So this morning I, I, I sat down without it. And it's, yeah. it's just, I'm like, like what do I do? <laughs> you know, yeah. like, Did you guys have like the stack of magazines or newspapers like <clears throat> Anywhere, like my dad just had a stack of like Farm Journal magazine not and in newspapers. Our house, my grandparents uh, did. Not at home, not at my parents' house. I don't yeah. Remember. Um, There's like Sudoku puzzles at my grandma's house. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember. I I used to not go to the bathroom at my grandma's house. It was like my house or no house. Yeah. So like we would travel to my grandma's two hours away. I'd make sure I went before we left because I was like, I know I'm not gonna be going anywhere until we get back. My uh, <laughs> my grandma out in Whipple, their plumbing did not have high blood, pre uh, blood pressure, <laughs> high water pressure. What kind of plumbing you they got? And it was just like my grandpa just built it, you know, out in the middle of the woods pretty much. And uh, they couldn't, like, you couldn't flush your toilet paper is how little or how bad the system was. So they just had like a trash can for your dirty toilet paper just like sitting next there, you know. And I always hate them. I'm never pooping here. I'm never putting my poopy toilet paper in this trash can. Because what if my poop touches another person's poop or something? It's ungodly. Who knows what it'll make? Yeah. <laughs> no, I remember my grandparents. Uh, uh, it still gets to me. Their bathroom, they had one of those toilet seats where it was 
rather than it just being like a hard seat. Oh. It was one of those soft cushion. Yeah, ones. they had that too. I really hated that. And like 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 a fuzzy carpet around. I know. Oh, yeah. what the fuck are they thinking? I don't, I don't like that at all. I don't. There's something weird about because you sit down, and the worst thing is when the worst thing is when you go in after someone else, yeah. and then you sit on it. It's all warm, warm, and, and it, it feels wrong. Yeah. Like, Why is it warm? <laughs> it's sticky after a bit. Uh, so yeah, I didn't. You gotta like peel yourself off. Yeah. You go to get up. It's like, yeah. What the fuck are they thinking that generation? I don't know. <laughs> and they put the fuzzy like seat cover. I mean, I knew they fought World War Two, right? but still. Did, did yours have that? Like you said yeah. about the fuzzy yeah. floor, but like the fuzzy no, and the seat fuzzy cover, seat right? cover. Right? Yeah. Oh, I hated that. You, you sit back on it. It's all fuzzy around your back. You're like, oh, yeah. Something's not right. It's catching the poop particles flying up or something. But if I could help it, as I got a little older, I'm like, I'll go. I gotta go poop. I gotta go poop real bad. I gotta go poop. When I was younger, I'm like, hold it. <sighs> Two hours home. <laughs> At the dinner table, sweating. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just, I don't know why. Like you know, because you go into like a nursery or something. There's gonna be like a, like a diaper barrel or something, and that seems fine. But just think about going to that bathroom, and then it's just like a, there's a waste paper basket with just shitty toilet paper in it. Yeah, but and it just seems wrong. It doesn't close though, right? It has like one of those like. Things. Oh, one of those? Yeah. Damn, that might be worse. I know! <laughs> like, what if, like, you just, what if you... I don't think anybody's like, <laughs> you know, it's not a public restroom. If it was, people would definitely do I'm that. I'm just thinking, like, it sticks to it or something, or there's just, like, spots. And... I don't know. Anyway, let us get away from the 15-minute poop focus. There was one other thing that I did really like in the episode. Yes. Jake was undercover as... A guy getting a petition for the environment. Yep. He's like, ah, Talk no about one will even notice me. No one will look me in the eye. No one will look me in the eye. No. <laughs> that was fantastic. I, really I love like that, that as well. I don't know. Just whole talking about his car. She's a peppy broad. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but no man can have her soul. No one what can have it? her spirit. Her spirit. Yeah. No one can own her spirit. No man can own her spirit. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Uh, I hope we go up to their house, like in the hills or wherever yeah. they were. Anytime you get to see more Kevin is always a good time. I do like Kevin. Dude, Kevin was in Kong, Skull Island. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he was. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, what was the other joke, too, that I liked? Uh, they said that all emails between Amy and Jake are CC to HR, <laughs> and Jake kind of looks surprised. Like, That's why HR Jim always gives me high fives. <laughs> like, he didn't know that was the case. <laughs> Wait, so, like, whenever he emails Santiago, he didn't know that it was going I to the I think gym? so, yeah. He's like, he, but he doesn't know why... HR yeah. Jim gives him high fives. Ah, good. Hey, Jake. Yeah. It makes sense that he just wouldn't understand that it's being CC'd. You guess, know? Yeah. yeah. So Amy knew, but he didn't. Amy knew. He didn't. Hitchcock, I think it was, mm -hmm. that talked about uh, Quaaludes and evidence that he wants to, he's trying to get to. They just let me get him. <laughs> <laughs> There's some ludes and evidence. Yeah. They, let me, they let me touch him. Oh, man. What kind of ludes? Mm. It could be his. <laughs> was it him that wanted to, like, he was taking pictures or something? Or well, I forget that there was something before. I, I can't like. remember. I don't know. One of them met their wife at an orgy, but not an orgy they were in. That was Scully. Scully. Yeah. But and, but she left outside of yeah. an orgy. Right? Yeah, she left. Well, yeah, yeah, he met her at an orgy, but he wasn't in the orgy. Yeah, right. <laughs> he, he just like, oh, they had an orgy. Hi, I'm Scully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now she's gone. My wife is leaving me. Good, <laughs> use, use that. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let me get things. Yep. Uh, also, uh, Holt being very upset that he didn't get a chance to uh, solve the puzzle was funny as well. Dude, that was a really good moment there, well, too. I'll get my it. pencil case. And then Santiago's like, it just says this. Yeah. Well, Santiago solved it. Yeah. <laughs> like, he had, like, that upset, but he wasn't mean or yeah. anything about it. I also liked, uh, he's like, good job, stupid. You can't call a kid stupid. What if he's really stupid? <laughs> 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 He doesn't like bathroom talk. <coughs> no, he doesn't. It's, it's one week of no uh, Dr. Dr. Stubbins. Stubbins. He would hate this discussion, Terry. Yeah. There was too much bathroom talk. Potty talk? Is it potty talk or bathroom talk? Are they different? I like, think I think no one called you a poo-poo head. You have a potty mouth, but you have bathroom talk. Yeah. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine with us. Uh, if you want to see up to the next four, you can at patreon.com slash blindwave. Uh, hopefully, they won't have as much poop talk, but hopefully, you know, secretly, I think they should. So go check those out right now. Patreon.com slash blindwave. Also, full links. Yay!